Have you ever imagined a celestial body that ejects matter and energy instead of consuming them like a black hole? Welcome to the intriguing world of white holes, the theoretical cousins of black holes, yet their exact opposites. Instead of being cosmic vacuums, white holes are cosmic fountains. They are the time-reversed versions of black holes, spewing out matter and energy instead of swallowing them. They are an enigma, a riddle wrapped in the mystery of the cosmos. They've captivated the curiosity of scientists and astronomers, sparking debates, theories, and research. Governed by the laws of physics, yet defying our understanding of the universe, white holes are the epitome of cosmic paradoxes. They are the concept that challenges our perception of space and time, matter and energy. If black holes are the universe's ultimate trash compactors, white holes could be considered the ultimate cosmic geyser, spewing out matter and energy. As we delve deeper, brace yourself for a journey into the unknown. What exactly is a white hole, you might ask? Well, let's dive into the science of these cosmic curiosities. White holes are theoretical celestial bodies predicted by the equations of Albert Einstein's general theory of relativity. This is the same theory that gave us black holes, those mysterious light-swallowing giants of the cosmos. But unlike their dark counterparts, white holes are not voracious consumers of matter and light. They're quite the opposite. Imagine a black hole as a cosmic drain, where everything nearby, from dust particles to light itself, spirals in and disappears seemingly forever. Now picture the reverse, that's a white hole. Instead of pulling everything in, a white hole is thought to spit matter and light back out. It's as if you're watching a black hole's behavior in reverse. But how does this work? The answer lies once again in Einstein's theory of gravity. In this theory, the fabric of the universe, or space-time as it's known, is depicted as a flexible sheet. Massive objects like stars and planets cause this sheet to curve, creating what we perceive as gravity. Black holes represent points where this curvature becomes so extreme it forms a sort of bottomless pit. White holes, on the other hand, would be the inverse. Instead of a pit, they would present as a kind of cosmic geyser, a region of space-time from which matter and light can escape, but into which nothing can enter from the outside. They're essentially a one-way street for energy and matter. It's important to note that all this is purely theoretical. Despite the mathematical foundations, we've yet to find any empirical evidence for the existence of white holes. But that doesn't make them any less fascinating. It merely underscores our limited understanding of the universe's secrets. In essence, a white hole is a region of space-time that cannot be entered from the outside, but from which matter and light can escape. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the existence of white holes and their potential implications for our understanding of the cosmos. But the real question is, do white holes actually exist in our universe? Engaging with this question takes us on a thrilling journey through the realms of theoretical physics and cosmology. The existence of white holes is a tantalizing prospect, one that has captured the imaginations of scientists and stargazers alike. Yet as it stands, it remains just that, a prospect, a possibility that dances on the edges of our current understanding. White holes, in theory, are the opposite of black holes. While black holes pull matter in, white holes are proposed to spew matter out. They are a part of the solutions to the equations of Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity, which describes the fabric of space and time. However, it's important to note that just because something is theoretically possible doesn't make it real. There are many solutions to Einstein's equations that don't correspond to anything we've observed in the universe. The biggest hurdle in confirming the existence of white holes is the sheer challenge of observing them. Unlike black holes, which we can detect through their gravitational pull and the effect they have on surrounding matter, white holes would be extremely difficult to spot. They would likely be incredibly unstable and short-lived, making them elusive targets for even our most advanced telescopes. Furthermore, our current knowledge of physics doesn't provide a clear path for how a white hole could form. Black holes form from collapsing stars, but we don't have a similar process for white holes. They seem to pop up out of nowhere in the mathematical solutions, but how they might appear in the physical universe is an enigma. Until we can overcome these challenges and gather empirical evidence, the existence of white holes remains a tantalizing mystery. It's a question that pushes the boundaries of our knowledge, 
encouraging us to probe deeper and look farther. It's a question that reminds us of how much we have yet to learn about the cosmos. Until we have solid empirical evidence, the existence of white holes remains a fascinating but unproven theory. Could white holes possibly have a connection to the birth of our universe? This is a question that has been puzzling scientists for years, and it's a fascinating one to explore. You see, some physicists propose that the Big Bang, the event that birthed our universe, could have been a white hole. Yes, you heard that right. The colossal explosion that created everything we know, including time and space, could have been a white hole. So how could this be possible? Well, to understand this, let's first remind ourselves what a white hole is. In essence, it's the reverse of a black hole. While a black hole sucks everything in, never to be seen again, a white hole is the exact opposite. It spews out matter and energy, but nothing can enter it. Now let's think about the Big Bang. It was an event where a singularity, a point of infinite density, exploded and expanded, creating our universe. Sounds familiar? That's because it's similar to how we envision a white hole. A white hole also starts from a singularity and spews out matter and energy, similar to the Big Bang. So it's not a far stretch to imagine our universe as the inside of a white hole constantly expanding from a singularity. This idea, while purely theoretical and highly speculative, provides a fascinating new perspective on the origin of our universe. It allows us to view the Big Bang not just as a singular event, but as a continuous process, like the outpouring of a white hole. However, it's important to note that this is just one of many theories out there. The concept of white holes is still very much in the realm of theoretical physics. Despite this, the idea that our universe could be born from a white hole brings a whole new dimension to our understanding of the cosmos. The concept of our universe being born from a white hole is a mind-bending proposition, isn't it? It's amazing how these cosmic mysteries continue to challenge our understanding and push the boundaries of human knowledge. If white holes do exist, what could be the implications for our understanding of the universe? This is the question that keeps astronomers and physicists up at night, pondering the endless possibilities. White holes, the theoretical opposite of black holes, could provide fascinating insights into the workings of our cosmos. Imagine for a moment if these celestial bodies do exist. They could completely overturn our current understanding of the universe and the laws of physics that govern it. Let's delve into some of the intriguing possibilities they present. One such possibility is their potential role in the formation of galaxies. White holes could be a cosmic catalyst, spewing out matter and energy, thereby contributing to the birth and evolution of galaxies. If this is true, it would mean that each galaxy, including our own Milky Way, might owe its existence to a white hole. It's a mind-boggling thought, isn't it? But the potential implications of white holes don't stop there. These fascinating celestial bodies could also play a role in the creation of new universes. Yes, you heard that right. New universes. Some theories suggest that the matter and energy ejected by a white hole could, under the right conditions, give birth to a whole new universe. This could potentially imply that our universe might just be one among many, a tiny part of a vast multiverse. The existence of white holes could also have profound implications for the study of quantum mechanics and the theory of general relativity. By studying these celestial bodies, we could potentially reconcile these two fundamental theories of physics, which has been a long-standing goal in the world of physics. The discovery of white holes could potentially revolutionize our understanding of the universe and open up a whole new frontier in astronomy.